couple weeks later, you bucked up Trooper again <laughs> yeah. in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me about that dance, sir. But that dance, uh, boy, the one where, where the cartel, I think Squinchy was there, didn't you? No, Squinchy wasn't there that night. It was just you, it was Mark. you, Mark, and Charlie. On Charlie, okay. Yes. Yeah, because I played, I think, the first round or something like that. You controlled the first round. Mm-hmm. And then Charlie. You and Charlie came in the second, and second, third, and fourth was yeah. you and Charlie, but, but you controlled the I, I think first. the microphone was a confusion, the two microphone. On the stage, I think that was the confusion. Yeah. Two people talking at the one at the same time. I don't know what that, where that idea came from. <laughs> so that was a little yeah. confusing. Because that night, I boss, it's like Trooper, two things Trooper did. All right, we played with Trooper in this side a couple of weeks before, a couple of months before. Before that one. Right? right, so Trooper played the cartel. All right, so we... But the right over cartel. Go to cartel, yeah. like Trey, we here. Mm-hmm. You're my lyrics, your DJ. Yeah. So when we, when we went to the World Clash now and Trooper play his own and we counter Rocky, it's surprised now if you hear Trooper play back on counter action for our cartel where only yeah. him, I nobody else know about it because mm-hmm. now you go to a regular studio, we have a portable place, so we vice, and you're alone. So in, in counter that one so from this so we stopped playing cartel for a couple of years about two okay. three years so that was the issue where you guys okay. stopped yeah because like are you alone no yeah, you yeah. actually sell me out then so to speak so mm-hmm. we stopped playing cartel for yeah. a while because yeah. that's why I wanted to know what was the real reason why you guys yeah. really did that stop like playing. because the person that I mean write me lyrics give you your DJ yeah. but you give a man counteraction for mm-hmm. something with him don't know about like I don't like him know about it yeah. you know if he was in the studio, somebody and then he heard it, it right? That's but what it's only mean. us here, so the only person I could tell would be you. I know me that. I said, Jano. And you can't <laughs> convince a crowd otherwise. It's right. It doesn't matter what you say. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was a night. Yeah, because he used it was a cartel he was using on you guys, and mm-hmm. this one rhythm. He right. basically played this rhythm from beginning to end. <laughs> You know, but you guys were actually doing good. Yes. Until mm. your fourth round. Right. I don't know what had happened. The crowd was just right. the uh, same thing with the figures had a two microphone. You know, I confuse the people them. Mm-hmm. Like I just that me don't know where the idea they come yeah. from. You know? So Yeah, that was yeah. Oh, oh, 06. So then you guys had one, two, yeah, and then lost the last one in Jamaica. But then you came back to UK again in 07. Right. And, and sting them again. Yeah. What was that like now, now that you really no, You just feel the, I, like uh, you are the man. So mm-hmm. here, what are the thing with them? The, you're playing with six sound. Everybody trying to get rid of um, Mighty Crown and Sentinel mm-hmm. and Heavy Hammer. No, like my thing now, I don't want to get rid of those sound. Mm-hmm. You try to get rid of the Addis, the Jaro, and certain sound because they are the sound that can play in tune for tune. But what they don't understand, Mighty Crown and sending a new tune. Don't try, me don't try to lead them. All I want to do, play better than two of the sound. Mm-hmm. That's when me get forth. Me always, till me reach down to them. Then so, you deal with them. Right. So, but them are play out them belly if you keep up with Sentinel. And you can't play the amount of song, the new song yeah. them have. So, me just leave them till you reach down to them. Because when you pass third round, then I know Garnet Silk, mm-hmm. or Dennis Brown, or they that. But people don't realize them can't play the tune for tune. Mm-hmm. Mighty Crown, I think is the first song I get six nil. Either of them are heavy. Man. It was them, it was Mighty Crown. Our you gave the six nil yeah. straight in tune for tune. Mm. Yeah, so when you read tune for tune, now if, if the Addis are the Jar are them in there with you, then can play a tune for yeah. tune. But they don't realize, say, me know, pick, me know, pick for the, the Mighty Crown, left Mighty Crown, me no business, me on a play. You just yeah. uh, try to get rid of the other man, them. but then when you say, I don't think them, yeah. Yeah, it, it's you know? psychs and strategy right. that you're using right. to really. Clash is not just about going up there cussing. I mean, and nice. Play. But them not understand that okay, everybody are come cuss and I try to play. Everybody want to lead the dance. Mm-hmm. Me no want to lead the dance. You just want to maintain. Second, no. Me just want to lead one or two so now that's when the voting come. Mm-hmm. Then, then you take them go up. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. No, that, that makes sense there. It's mm-hmm. maintain and do your thing. Right. You understand. Don't try to lead the dance. Mm-hmm. Because if you have to try to keep up with Mighty Corner or Sentinel or them, you have to play with you. Box mm-hmm. and then when you reach there, you know, have nothing to play, yeah. so you just try to lead why that sound like dance until you read down, reach down to them. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com.